Hey guys, I'm Johnny Scoville and this is Chase the Heat. Man, it's another installment of Late Night Snack Time with the Scoville Squad. I got an interesting one because I just don't know what it is. I was with in the Asian store with my business partner, David Foy. Uh, I just found that here are the ingredients. So I'm going to read you the ingredients, but I didn't know what they were. I still don't know. I, when I read it to you, it'll be the first time. But anyway, I want to tell you, today we had a great day at the office. We ate durian fruit, me, David, and, the, and Big Al. First time we tried that. It was great. Uh, then it's been a, such an exciting day. We launched round one. First pepper distillate from Chase Eat Blazing Foods. Very, very exciting. Uh, showcased it tonight in uh, uh, Tincture Tuesday. Just really neat. So it's just been a fun, uh, fun day. Now this, I don't know what this is, and I really, uh, you know, if, if you guys have ever had the chance of going to your local Asian market, if you have one, then you need to. You will see things you just don't see anywhere else. All right, so there's a bit of a spicy smell to it. I suppose I should have read the, ingre the ingredients first. Ha, huh. man, I'm sorry. Let me read the ingredients. All right, here we go. This is a rice topoki snack. That's what it's called. Wheat flour, palm, ole, olein oil, starch syrup, which is corn uh, powder, malt enzyme. It has hot spice, which is, I'm reading exactly how it says. Spicy taste seasoning, mixed vegetable powder, garlic, butter tasting seasoning, capsaicin spice powder. Pretty good to see that. Rice flour, Korean hot pepper paste, paprika color, natural coloring, natural coloring matter. Glucose, um, ammonium bicarbonate, refined salt, sodium bicarbonate, nutmeg powder, parsley powder, artificial flavoring, cracker flavor, it says. Contains wheat and milk. And this is a product of Korea. All right, so we're going to give this a shot. Now, let me show you the, the smell. You can smell... You can smell there's some something spicy in there. You just can't tell what it is. But look what they look like. They almost look like uh, pasta rigatoni. But they're all a little... Uh, kind of spiced and a little spices on the outside of them. So we're gonna give this a shot. So it's from Korea, they're uh, rice Topeka snack. I'm Johnny Scoble and this is Chase the Heat. It's got a very light crunch. There's a sweetness to it. Almost like a sweet Korean, you know that sweet barbecue, Korean barbecue? Almost tastes like that, because there's a sweetness there. They aren't bad. I was about to say, no, we're on here. Do they make any promises of heat? And right when I did, if you look at the pepper, look at what it says on the pepper. So hot. So they do make a uh, claim that it's going to be so hot. It isn't. It would be a little tangy, I think, or zesty, or zeppy, zippy, or... It would probably move the needle of a non-chili head. It might be like a three or four, maybe. If you're one of us on the bus, it won't move your heat needle. But they really do taste pretty good. Absolutely better tasting than most a lot of the snacks that we have here in the States. Very, very tasty. All right, so now we're going to uh, go to Tommy's Picks and see what... My brother had 
has for us today. Okay, fam, I got a question for you. It's about croquet. No, I'm kidding. What do these three people have uh, about to grease the winner's circle have in common? Shall I give you a hint? Here's the hint. They should probably clear their calendars for January 21st of, the, of next year. First up, James J. David is the original normie. That's an awesome comment. Gave it a heart when I saw it. Awesome comment. JJ's back in the winner's circle where he belongs, and tell me he didn't nail this. The Pepper Apprentice is most assuredly the first normie. And what does that tell you, people, for those who just got here? What does that tell you? If you want to be a chili head, you can be a chili head with a bottle of Tabasco. But if you want to be a legendary chili head, then you got to put in the work that David has because he's a legend. From normie to legend in a year, that's something spectacular. Great comment, JJ. All right, next up we've got, that's a great commentary. Uh, Oculi Mortis says, the spicy man, oh, this is great. The spicy man can, uh, the spicy man can, the spicy man can, cause he mixes it with pain and makes the, wor makes the hurt feel good. Makes the hurt feel good. I don't sing well, but that's awesome. The candy man, you know, you get where we're going with this. You get it, right? You can see it, right? Oculi is back in the circle of acknowledgement, and he got here with a little 24 karat brilliance. If you were unfortunate that if you were unfortunate that um, in that you were not around when the picks first began, then you missed out on Oculi and a lot of brilliant stuff. Have no fear, writers. You can always go back and watch it. It should be in the January and February months. Oculi, great to see you back on top, uh, back in top form. This was gold. They really they, it was a gold. gold one. This is a great one, right? Our last entry of the day uh, was not uh, lightening up Tommy's picks. In, uh, was not lightning, lightening up, uh, lighting up Tommy's picks in January of last year. He got to the party slightly later, and his first entry, by way of full disclosure, had to be edited for content. Let's just say the language was slightly inappropriate. But after being set straight by the good doctor, he caught fire in a, in a way that uh, you may, you have, I may. Uh, if you have, um, uh, he, he, hold on a second here, guys. You caught fire in a, way, uh, in a way. If you have, I may even stop picking on him for the mess that he leaves in our winner's circle. <laughs> or third Hall of Famer. Um, is, of, uh, is, of course, our guy Elwood. He has become a, such a staple of, uh, at, with picks that when he does not deliver the goods, it feels like uh, when you get that small piece of skin by your fingernail, and you try to pull it off quickly, and it rips a piece all the way to your shoulder. Sorry, fam. I'm no Elwood Bailey. That's great. You see what he did there? And here's Elwood Bailey's comment. Have a great night, fam. Capsaicin Weekly has a new, a new issue hitting in the morning. I'll be up all night waiting and going over old CTH videos and comments. Chase the heat for life. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys a lot. Um, tomorrow's going to be spectacular, so gear up. we got some fun stuff coming at you. Um, <clears throat> if you want, don't forget. Uh, uh, don't forget about tincture. Uh, the tincture we have, tincture. The distillate we have on our website. It's not a tincture. It's a distillate on deathnuts.com. And tonight, uh, or this, if you want to be a part of Tincture Tuesday next Tuesday, email me some tincture, a picture of you with a product, um, and we'll get you in there. But we're going to wrap it up now. Right there is our pepper. If you click that pepper, you're part of the family. If you don't want to miss a video, don't miss a video. A couple of things you can do. Number one, uh, click the bell for notifications, select all. But as a security net, because sometimes they don't send notifications out, eight, noonish, and nine. Today is a bonus video, but eight, noonish, and nine um, is when we upload new videos. So come back if you don't see a notification. Right there is League of Fire. Oh, I love League of Fire. Right there, more videos. Thanks for chilling with me. I'm Johnny Scoville. This was Chase the Heat.